Enjoy this original tiki influenced cocktail. I'm Brian Johnson, and this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we're already making the Bathysphere cocktail. Now this is an original cocktail I created, and it comes with a little bit of tiki influence to it, um, but it's pretty easy to make, and we're gonna make it right now. This is a gin-based cocktail that I created, and uh, I like using a London Dry in it, just because I think it um, kind of gives a lot of backbone with the juniper. And we do one and a half ounces. And add that to our shaker. And then we use half an ounce of Benedictine. Now this is a herbal liqueur and it's um, interesting enough, you see a lot of tea cocktails have a little teeny bit of herbalness to it. Um, some of it's with its um, absinthe or perno, um, but it kind of just, you see a little bit. So that's kind of why I think I, I worked it in. Half an ounce and add that to our shaker. And then finally, we're going to add half an ounce of lime juice. Add that. And our final ingredient is some Bitterman's Tiki Bitters. And um, these give a nice spice to it, a little bit of depth of flavor. And they come with this eyedropper. And I do about one, you know, one of these. And add that in. So we're gonna add ice. And we're gonna shake this. And because our cocktail has lime juice in it, we're gonna shake. But you wanna shake about eight seconds, get it nice and cold. Now we're ready to strain this into our cocktail glass. Now you want to double strain, use a fine mesh strainer. It gets all the ice shards out of it, keeps it out of your cocktail. That's all that goes into it, it's pretty simple. I like this cocktail. I think it's initially when I first created it, I didn't use the bitters in it, and it kind of was a little. It just wasn't really all there. It wasn't kind of didn't really come together. Um, playing around a little bit further, I added the bitters. I think it really takes the next level. You get some spice from the bitters. You get some herbal notes, some sweetness from the Benedictine. Um, the London dry gin kind of takes it to gives it a big backbone. Now this is you know I say this is kind of a tiki cocktail, and I think it's got tiki influence to it and you know not every tiki cocktail is you know rum based with fruit juices um, but I think it kind of fits in that vein so gin and lime have just been always a staple of um, you know the British Navy so it kind of I think it works well but that's how you make the bathosphere 